Alright, this is an example of your multi stitch gas power turbine. So you have a marine gas turbine with regeneration, operates with single stitch compression and two stitch of expansion. So when you solve this kind of problem, uh, I would like to start with sketching your uh, physical diagram first. So in this case, it gives you a compressor and it has two stage of turbine. So this will be your uh, high pressure turbine and then you are going to have another turbine which is your low pressure turbine. And then it says that uh, the overall pressure ratio is 5 over 1 means that you have pressure ratio which is your Pmax over your P min is equal to 5 and it says that um, the maximum temperature is 700 degrees C and the air intake conditions are 101 kilopascal and 25 degrees C so you have the intake to your compressor given to you if this is your state 1 so P1 is equal to One hundred one kilopascal, and the temperature at one is equal to twenty five degrees C. You need to, because we are dealing with idle gas, so you are going to change it into Kelvin. So you will have two hundred and ninety eight Kelvin, and then it says that. The maximum temperature is 700 degrees C, meaning that going out from your compressor, it will go into your combustion chamber and goes into your high pressure turbine. So in this combustion chamber, when the fuel and air is fully combusted, so you are going to have the highest temperature. So if we label this as state 2, and this is a state 3 so you are going to have your T3 is equal to 700 degrees C change it into Kelvin you will have 973 Kelvin and then it says that this high pressure turbine drives the compressor so you have the high pressure turbine over here which connect to your compressor and drive the compressor so basically you are going to have uh, one relation here which is the work of your compressor is equal to the work of your high pressure turbine because the rotation that produced from this high pressure turbine will also contribute to the rotation of your work compressor and then it says that the low pressure turbine drives the propeller through a suitable gearing so you know that this low pressure turbine will connect it to a suitable gearing it's going to produce work as well so your low pressure turbine is the one that's going to um, uh, it's going to drive your work of your propeller so from your high pressure turbine it will goes out and comes into your low pressure turbine and then from your low pressure turbine it will goes out here so if you label this will be your state 4 and this will be your state 5 and it says that the gas mass flow rate is 50 kilo, fifty kilograms. So you have your M dot is equal to fifty kilogram per second. And 
the isentropic efficiency of your compressor in both stages of your turbine are 0 0.8 meaning that uh, your compressor and your high pressure turbine with your low pressure turbine is working on 80% efficiency or 0 0.8 it means that your device here is not working on 100% conditions. It has irreversibility that what makes the efficiency drop to 0 0.8. Neglecting kinetic energy changes and the pressure loss during the combustion process. So you will need to calculate the intermediate stage pressure of the turbine. So this intermediate stage over here. The thermal efficiency of the cycle if the effectiveness of the regenerator is 0 0.70. So you have another another one which is your effectiveness of your regenerator given to you 0 0.07. And, and this is happening just before this heat exchanger is happening just before uh, your compressed air coming into your combustion chamber so we are going to label we are going to label just before you enter your combustion chamber as X and lastly, lastly you will also find the difference of thermal efficiency if the ideal regenerator is used so basically what does it mean here is you need to find out what if this uh, regenerator that it fell over here is not 0, 0.0 but it is an ideal meaning that uh, in other words it is about 100 percent so you need to compare the answers that you got from here with this one and it says here the value of cp and your k is constant throughout the cycle meaning that even though after your combustion process if it's going to have cp or k you are going to use the same uh, value you don't have to find the output product uh, the gas out gas product specific uh, heat at constant pressure or this k value it's going to be all the same throughout the cycle